Okay, in chapter 11, we're going to be talking about invertebrates. And um, this is the next level of evolutionary complexity that um, we'll be discussing. Um, the most primitive invertebrates and the ones going back and the ones going back the furthest um, in geologic history, that is, they have some of the oldest fossils, are selenerates, and those are the sponges. Um, copy these characteristics down. Um, they have no mouth, stomach, or other organs. Um, so they're at a very primitive level. And most of them live in the ocean. There are a few that cannot. Um, they, or do not, they cannot move, and they do stink a lot when they come out of the ocean and die on the beach. I don't know if stink a lot is, uh, is a characteristic of them, but that's what I've noticed over time. But they do stink a lot when, once they wash up on shore. Would you bring me that, please? Um, the next group is the Nidarians. Um, if you di if you miss something, you can look at the uh, video. It'll be posted on Chapter 11. Um, write down the first two bullet points here. Um, the next group are the Nidarians. It's a silent C, the Nidarians. And these are invertebrates with stinging cells. These are some of the, the coolest invertebrates that we're going to be talking about, I think. And um, uh, they include jellyfish, sea anemones, and corals. And um, they have, all of them have tentacles. Jellyfish have tentacles up, or tentacles down, and sea anemones have tentacles up. Um, they do have a mouth, so they're more complex than sponges. And they live on the ocean floor for the most part. Um, and they shoot out po poisonous darts. The jellyfish live on the ocean floor when they're um, when they're young, and then they and most of their visible stage when they get bigger, they're floating around. One of Mrs. T's and I's um, uh, friends has a son and his wife who are sailing around the world and they just sent us a picture from their blog. Um, they just came out of South Africa and they sent us a, a blog picture of a Portuguese man of war jellyfish. It was purple and gigantic and it was just beautiful. It was, it was big, maybe a foot and a half, two feet uh, wide. Yeah, they're super poisonous. Okay, the next group that we're going to um, look at, and this is a very diverse group, are the worms. And their scientific name is Anelida. Um, I'd like you to um, uh, write down that first bullet point there, and I'd like you to write down the different types. Uh, there's flatworms, roundworms, and segmented worms. And we're going to be taking a look at both flatworms and segmented worms in the lab. Um, one of the characteristics of worms is that they can grow back parts if they lose them. So if they um, lose a part, uh, it grows back and regenerates. Some worms can grow up to 30 meters long. That's 90 feet. And these types of worms are usually parasites, intestinal parasites, in, um, in herbivores. And um, one of the cool characteristics of, an, of earthworms is that they have hairs. They're not really hairs, they're called setae. They're like little legs, and that helps it go through the dirt. And we'll see that once we get to lab. And I think I will stop there. I don't want to overload you with notes. Okay. Thank <laughs> you.